Yes, 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 people, here we go from the Fabrizio Romano about Kai Havertz to Arsenal. And there's a lot of transfer news today, so let's get straight into it. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Arsenal will be signing Kai Havertz, and he's given us the here you go. It'll be a £65 million deal, and reportedly there will be some add-ons also included in that. And of course... The reason why uh, we have some other transfer news also, Thomas Partey could potentially be sold from Arsenal. Would you guys sell Thomas Partey this summer transfer window from Arsenal if Saudi Arabia came in with that Saudi money and offered us upwards of 40 to maybe even 50 million euros? And finally, Timber to Arsenal. Is it agreed? Is the deal going to get done today or maybe tomorrow? He seems to be flying to from from from, from uh, Netherlands. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens. But right now, that's this, and we're gonna get you guys up to date. And I'm gonna show you guys all the latest transfer news. Stick with us. Make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Make sure you hit that goddamn subscribe button. And if you're new around here, leave me a comment. Say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Let's get the show started. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. So let's get into it. 10 hours ago, 10 hours ago, David Onstein reported that Arsenal have reached a principal agreement with Chelsea over the signing of Kai Havertz, the 24-year-old. Damn, the guy's still young. He's only 24. The German international is worth around 65 million pounds as Arsenal have agreed personal terms with the player and the medical is now booked and ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is being said at this moment in time. I am excited. I'm happy. I'm ready for this to get going. And let me know, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys think in the comment section about Kai Havertz. Let me know what you guys think about that fee. It is a lot of money, 65 million. I would have thought we would have got it for cheaper. But of course, it ended up being a 65 million pound package. Um, there's also some other news about Timber, but we're going to get into that in a second. Everyone is reporting that the deal is done. And in euros, it makes it look a lot worse with 75 million euros plus bonuses included. But his contract will be until 2027. The medical has not yet been scheduled, but it is supposed to be coming very, very soon. Um, let me just catch my breath for a second. But yeah, Fabrizio Romano says that the deal is done. The here you go. And why is the here you go in lowercase? We need that lowercase to be in uppercase. Honestly, I'm not too excited about the transfer when it first got uh, when we first heard about it. But now that it's getting done, I can't help but get excited. I feel like a little kid getting a gift, but the gift wasn't what I wanted. But I still somewhat am excited about it. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, he's a long term. He's a long term addition. He's going to be here until 2027. Medical is booked. There's going to be apparently five million in add-ons apparently. But yeah, that is the situation right now. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Kai Havertz to Arsenal seems to be closer and closer to getting done than ever. The deal is actually done. At this point, we're just waiting for more information. Personally, for me, Kai Havertz is going to have to Kai Havertz is going to have to ball out at Arsenal for uh, for a certain Arsenal fans to to be happy with him. But if he can just be a serviceable player and and play his role and get us major silverware. I will I'll be happy with the transfer. If if it's a situation where he absolutely flops and we waste the 65 million, we're gonna have to find out what happens. But a lot of people are on both ends. Some people are saying Mikel Arteta signed him, we have to back him, we fully agree with him, and he's gonna make it work. And other people are saying it's gonna be an absolute flop and it's gonna be a poor, poor signing. Either way you look at it, we won't know until until later in the season. Uh, but for now, I have a question for you guys. Over or under. 10 Premier League goals for Kai Havertz next season. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. I think he could easily get over 10 Premier League goals next season for Arsenal. And in all competitions, I think he could easily get over 15. But let's wait and see. Is he gonna, Is his main thing going to be goals? Or is it just going to be that he's going to be a big part of the setup overall? Now, with that being said... Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that guy. And don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already done that. Let's go on to Timber. I'm yelling, Timber, we're going to move. We're going down. It did the night. Anyways, uh, you're not here for me to sing. Um, Timber wants to join Arsenal and is, uh, and is, oh, and he, 
as the move is preparing the details over the next coming weeks, uh, Ajax are negotiating with Arsenal and agreed the agreement is expected to be around 40 to 45 million pounds. That is what's being reported at this moment in time about Timber. There was also some other news. Let me see. Um, another one here saying Arsenal are closing uh, uh, on the verge of an agreement with Timber as Chris Wheatley reported this. Let's see if there's more on Timber. Uh, I'm going to just flow around. Nope, no more on Timber. But yeah, that is that is what's currently being reported on Timber. Um, that is exciting stuff right there because I didn't think we were... One second, let me find it. I didn't think the Timber deal was that close to being done, but reportedly from Chris Wheatley, this is this deal is a lot closer than expected at this moment in time. And of course, Gundogan is headed to Barcelona, ladies and gentlemen. So forget about Gundogan. Fabrizio Romano and everybody else has already given the here you go. He's headed to Barcelona as being reported right now. Um, what's going on with this kid? If I'm not mistaken, Arsenal were uh, interested in him, but the interest from Arsenal have dropped. Um, the Kai Havertz deal is done. Ilka Gunuan to Barcelona is done. And uh, Timber wants to join Arsenal and could be joining Arsenal very, very soon. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Right? But before we go any further, do me a favor. Hit that goddamn like button. Let me know what you guys think about Timber. Somebody who can play as a versatile right back and as a center back. And can also tuck in in defense like, a, uh, like Zinchenko can on the, on the left side. But he can do it on the right. Now... With that being said, we have uh, we have signed uh, Kai Havertz. He will be an Arsenal player. That due course, of course, with the medical. Chelsea have made an agreement. Chelsea have signed six players also. But let me give you guys some outgoing sales potentials. Sales. Um, and, and before we go on to the sales, let me just give you guys the daily Declan Rice update, of course, also. So the daily Declan Rice update today is that West Ham, of course, are waiting for... Man City to enter the race. West Ham are waiting for West Ham, are waiting for Declan Rice to enter the uh, Man City to enter the race for Declan Rice. They're saying that West Ham are in no rush to sell Declan Rice and are still waiting to see if Man City bid for their captain. Arsenal are keen to get the deal done, although soon we'll make a third bid. That is what's being reported at this moment in time. We'll make a third bid, third bid incoming very, very soon. Hopefully the third bid comes in very soon. And once we get it done, everything is done and wrapped up. No question about it. Easy, sealed, delivered. That's what I need. Um, but then we're going to go to this right here. Let me show you guys what's happening right here. We have Lokonga. Lokonga is set to leave Arsenal on loan. Uh, the clubs are, are getting guarantees over a fee and Burnley could be buying Lokonga at this moment in time. Uh, reportedly, uh, Vincent Company has worked with him previously at Andelect, so he is interested in signing him on loan. I would get him out of here, get Lokonga's ass out of here, send him to Burnley. Let's see what he can do in the Premier League team that's a little bit lower down the table, and let's see if he can perform better than he did at Crystal Palace last season. Now, uh, Thomas Partey. We have heard some links about Thomas Partey being linked to Saudi Arabia yesterday from David Onstein, but now we've gotten more confirmation from Fabrizio Romano saying that it is understood that Saudi Arabian clubs are are uh, are willing to pay in installments of 40 million and are interested in Thomas Partey. Now, my question to you guys is, will you sell Thomas Partey and would you be interested in selling Thomas Partey this transfer window? And the reason why I ask is because Mikel Arteta is interested in moving him on potentially and Jorginho is willing to snub Lazio to stay at Arsenal and Thomas Partey is pushing towards an exit as reported by another journalist here. So that means he might be rating Jorginho more than he rates Thomas Partey at this moment in time. And let me just go to the final thing that I want to, uh, to talk about with Thomas Partey. Where is it? It's somewhere down here, if I'm not mistaken. Here we are. David Onstein reporting that Thomas Partey has uh, two years remaining on his contract. He's 30 years old. Let's be honest, he's been very injured and wasn't reliable in the last two seasons in the business end of the season. Uh, he is. He won't be a first-choice position anymore. And Arsenal are looking at Thomas Partey at the club and working out an exit solution which is suitable for him and for the club. This is interesting to me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know, would you guys sell Thomas Partey? Would you be interested in selling Thomas Partey? And if you were interested in selling Thomas Partey, how much would you be interested in selling him for? Uh, reported that negotiations between Arsenal and Saudi Arabia has already started, as there are some people 
from Saudi Arabia in London right now to speak with Thomas Partey's uh, party and the players uh, have concrete interests at this moment in time for Thomas Partey and Saudi Arabia. We have to see where where things progress, how things go and how quickly things progress. But at this moment in time, this does seem like it might happen. Thomas Partey could be ending up at Saudi Arabia as there are currently three clubs, potentially four clubs interested in him at Saudi Arabia right now. About four hours ago, we heard about these are uh, these rumors the first uh, the first time. Actually, last night we heard about it the first time. So the Middle East are seriously pushing for Thomas Partey. There is Al Nasir, Al uh, Al Halal, and Al Khadij showing interest in Thomas Partey. And this will be ahead of next season as they will try to get him as Saudi Arabia are making a major push in European football to acquire some of the best talent. And Thomas Partey joining them would be just another one of those players. And this was what David Onstein had to report yesterday and earlier later today. So yeah, that is it for today. Kai Havertz has agreed uh, uh, a fee between Chelsea and Arsenal. He will be an Arsenal player. We've gotten the here you go from Fabrizio Romano. Timber uh, agreement is on the way and verbal agreement is reported that it will be on the way. So we'll have to wait and see if it actually happens. Um, everything else with Lakonga, Partey are still speculative, but would you sell Thomas Partey? Let me know in the comment section. And that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comment section for me right now. I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Please do check out these two videos that are going to pop up very soon. And I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>